Um, hey everyone, Shavik here, head of product at Scale. Hello everyone, um, Abra Engvall, Director of Solutions Engineering. Um, we wanted to share a few updates. Uh, we're gonna go through what's happening on mainnet. We're gonna talk about what's happening with validators and we're gonna show a demo for the Scale Ethereum bridge. So, so stick around. That's amazing. Um, I think I'll kick off with the mainnet upgrades and the validator community, like what's going on over there. We've been working very hard on the testnet side, on the mainnet side. Um, as you all know, like from the previous videos, uh, we deployed a game and we created scale chains and we deployed a game on the main scale chains. It's been up and running for the last two, three weeks, I guess, maybe even more. And the reason that we did that, it's because we wanted to test out. It's our basically like a game for testing. We wanna make sure that we put a lot of loads over there. We tested with, uh, with our community who uh, just are that uh, developers, our internal engineers, like we just like played at the same time to make sure that all the endpoints are running fine. All the nodes are performing well. And we saw that it's, it was fantastic. The other thing we want, we saw um, during this deployment, we wanted, as you all know, um, every scale chain in the network is supported by 16 nodes. This means that it's 16 different endpoints. Um, so, instead of of course like there can be some hardware issues sometimes there can be um, a lot of load in one node we do not want that so product and engineering thanks to each other and engineering we have this new feature like load balancing so that instead of 16 endpoints and uh, maintaining all this we, we provide DAP developers uh, just one single endpoint to use this so that their endpoints always live it checks the health of the each node and endpoint, make sure that um, do the load balancing. I'm very excited about this one. And after that, everything was perfectly fine and up and running. And the other thing is like, I want to mention the validator community. I lead the validator program and they're just amazing. They're always a supportive uh, scale network and make sure that their nodes are perfectly fine always support like the scale network and um, the performance. So because of that, in the last couple of weeks, what we've been doing is the, the, the improving the infrastructure, um, making some changes there and um, they're improving their hardwares. In the next week, we are just gonna finalize these hardware upgrades and then create new scale chains and which is like very excited. But the most important thing is the IMA bridge, which is like, you're gonna demo Chavik. I'm very excited for this because we've been waiting for this. Can you just like kick off and just tell us what you've been doing with engineering? Absolutely. And just to piggyback off your comments, um, I think it's amazing that, you know, as a DAP developer, you're, you're given 16 endpoints to work with. Those are a lot of endpoints that could, you know, one yep. of them might be able to go down. But the load balancer just has like that really nice feature where you know your as a dev developer and your users can continue to like use the best most highly available server and to be switching between the one so it's a great way to manage 16 endpoints from just one um similar to that the scale ethereum bridge is really exciting um and we're we're about to push this out um the bridge is really great because it leverages the best in security models of uh, bls threshold signatures so of the 16 nodes that are part of your skill chain, um, if a third uh, less, you know, if a third of those go down or if they're not able to um, provide messages or context, the skill chain can then still sign and transfer messages between uh, skill chain and mainnet. So it's really great. Those security guarantees with BLS combined with the 16 nodes provides a really good model for uh, securing uh, the bridge between Ethereum and main uh, and skill chains. Um, without further ado, um, I'll be showing you a sandbox demo here on my screen. Nice. And this is an example of just some JavaScript, some Web3 that's currently connected to a skill chain that's running IMA. And it's also connected to the um, Ethereum Rinkeby network. Um, what you're seeing here is a, uh, a bridge that's set up to transfer ERC-20. The Ethereum uh, skill bridge can support ETH, ERC-20, ERC-721, 11.55. And you can connect any other token standard by using a communication layer called message proxy. So you can connect any new token standard that might come out. So it's very modular, very flexible. Uh, it's flexible for token standards. It's also very flexible for mapping. The great thing with mapping is uh, as a skill chain owner, and that could be a single person, a, a group, a company, or a DAO, 
as a skill chain owner, you can map or control or not control what tokens are mapped to your skill chain. Um, there's some other bridges that require uh, like a, a kind of a white glove approach to mapping. Here, you can just map any token um, that you wish onto your skill chain. So without further ado, let's get in here. Um, so I've got 20 of the CRC20 token on Rinkeby and one on my skill chain. So let's hit deposit and let's get in here. Uh, and then as you know, Rinkeby takes a little bit. So let's just hang out a bit. But Ibru, do you want to add any comments here? Yeah, sure. Um, I, I would love to. Thank you. So um, when you deposit it, of course, like there's a smart contract lives in Ethereum and there's a smart contract lives on scale side. So this is the interaction that is happening. So it's kind of like a bridge. You're just freezing the funds on Ethereum and you're moving into scale. So that's the most important part. And you don't you only need to do this once. So you just deposit once. You just do hundreds of transactions for free on scale. You don't have to worry about it. It's like way less costly. So this is the best thing about the, the bridge, um, especially using the layer two. And then I would just like love it so that people just DAP developers and end users do not have to worry about fees. Just deposit once, forget about it. And whenever you want to exit, you can exit that. But totally. I think we're done, right? We are, yeah. I think we just so like we, passed through. Yeah, we saw the approve and the transfer go on Rinkabee. So one token was transferred over to my skill chain. Um, and then we can do the exit back. So I'll hit exit here. And as you can see, it's almost nearly instantaneous. So we did the approve and transfer on the skill chain. It's already left the skill chain. And then as soon as Rinkaby picks that up, uh, we'll be complete. Uh, some things I want to mention is when you get the token on the skill chain, the token uh, needs to have a mentor and burnable role. So tokens are minted and then burned. Um, so if you have an ERC-20 token or any token center that doesn't have a burn um, role on mainnet, when you transfer it over with using what's called automatic deployment, it will automatically add uh, the burn function on the skill chain. So as a skill chain owner or DAP developer or user, you don't need to make those changes uh, for you. So it's all autonomous. So there we go. ERC-20 token from Rinkaby to skill chain and back. Um, nice. I think that's pretty exciting, pretty amazing. Again, we have sandboxes for all the token standards, all the flows using automatic deployment, adding special mint <laughs> functions for ERC-721, which I think is gonna be really exciting. Uh, we all know how expensive ERC-21 mint is. And again, skill chain gives you uh, gas, zero cost gas transactions. Uh, so you can really scale your dApps, uh, scale your token transfers and scale your dApp. All right. Thank uh, you all for listening. A... Yeah. This is amazing. I'm very excited, Chad. I think DAP developers are going to be very happy. And uh, we, we have a lot of DAPs that are waiting for this feature. So it's going to be it's going to be great kickoff. Um, and just start, I cannot wait to start the integrations with DAP, with AMA. Totally. Um, right. Awesome. We'll leave it there. Stay tuned. Thanks. Thank you, everyone.